is called Ashtang Yoga. Like asanas is a limb of yoga, dharana is a uh, limb of yoga, dhyan, which is meditation, that is a limb of yoga. Similarly, you have pranayama as a limb of yoga. Now, pranayama is also referred to as the heart of yoga. Pranayama is very different from asanas. Asanas they are for your external appearance. That fine, you have a slim figure, you have uh, your muscles are toned up, you have a flexible system, so that is the role of the asana. It's got nothing to do with your internal wellness. There are many substitutes for asanas. For example, you can go out for a walk, you can play tennis, you can go to the gym, go anywhere, cycling, that all are substitutes for asanas. But pranayama has got nothing to do with your external appearance. A person might be fat, but he, would be, he might be internally very strong. Who knows? Because he's trying to oxygenate his cells. So the role of pranayama is your internal wellness. It's got nothing to do with your external appearance. It doesn't make a difference how you sit. Many times people tell me, Sir, I do it like that. I say, how you will affect yourself by sitting in that cross like posture? How do you feel yourself are going to be affected? He says, sir, I don't know, but that's what I've heard. Then they tell me, so I'm, my spine is erect, and I get up at 6 in the morning and do my pranayama. I tell them, well, I don't get up at 6, I get up at 7, and they feel I can't do it or what. So that means you, it doesn't make a difference how you sit, what time of the day you're doing, you're doing indoors, outdoors, they are very relevant factors. The role of pranayama is to oxygenate the cells of the system. Now, prana means, let's come to the definition. Prana means the vital energy present within each one of us. This is what we call urja. When we live in life, we say that the prana will go. The prana is gone, right? So prana is the vital energy present within each one of us. And ayama means to manage, control, regulate, or direct that vital energy. Why do we direct that energy? How do we direct that energy? How do we control that energy? How do we manage that energy? That is ayama. So when we get these two words together, we get the word pranayama, which means management, control, regulation, or the direction of the vital energy which is present within each one of us. Now, in gross terms, to make it easily understandable to public at large, we say prana is the breath, and ayama means to manage, control, regulate, or direct that breath. So again, when we get these two words together, we get the word pranayama, which is management of breath, regulation of breath, control of breath, or simply breath work. That means all activities related to the movement of the breathing pattern would come under the definition of the word pranayama. Now, next topic. Next is a very important topic, which is the four pillars of pranayama.